Okay, so what we're now going to look at is uh, counting the amount of records that we have uh, within this table. And this is going to provide us some input that looks a little bit different to what we've already seen. And it might be a little bit confusing at first, but, um, you know, hopefully this should make sense. So at the moment, we know that we've got two records. Um, you know, we can see that it says at the bottom here, two rows in set. However, this data won't be available if we were, say, using an interface in PHP and we wanted to pull through data. Um, it won't necessarily give us the count of the records uh, unless we specifically select this. Or you might just want to query the database once just to get a count of records. Um, in this case, this command that we're about to use is probably going to be the best option. So um, what we're going to do is we're first of all going to uh, just get the count back and then we're going to specifically define the column name, a, a dynamic com co column name that we want to give this count value. So let's just take a look at how we do this. We still use the select command but this time we use the count function. And what we do is we pass in a field that we want to count on. Now we can use asterisk, but I just prefer to write ID or something like that. And we go from articles as usual. So we're just using a function here in, in place of any fields. And what this will do is it will give us, um, a, a again, a little table here with a count of ID. And it will say uh, the actual count value. So this is the value that you would pick up in, you know, whatever um, programming language you're using to access this database. This is where you would pick it up. But what we're going to do now is slightly modify this query. And I'm going to use the as keyword to specifically name this field um, with, uh, with the count value in. So I'm just going to call this count. So now what's going to happen is it's going to select the count as count and the count will be the field name. So you can now see that instead of having count ID, it's now changed to count two. Now you might be thinking, well, what if we actually want to bring back all of our data and the amount of results? Well, that's absolutely fine. What we can do is we can say select count ID as count name description created ID for example so we want to bring back all of our fields and the count as well so what this will do is is you know this doesn't quite look right at the moment so we'll see what we can do about this in just a moment we need to modify this query significantly so what we'll go ahead and do is just get rid of all of this um, because we don't really want to go ahead and just modify it it'd be better to type it out again um, and what we need to do is create um, an inner query um, and what this is going to do is it's going to provide us with all the results we need plus the count on each result so we can go ahead and we can select the count where we need it so let's go ahead and do this um, so we need to go ahead and select I'm just going to select all data just for the sake of uh, seeing everything um, and what I also want to do is go ahead and select something else now this something else is going to be instead of count ID um, because if we do it this way, I could say count ID from articles like this. Uh, we get exactly the same results. We get the one, we get one uh, result back and the count. Um, now, ordinarily, what we'd do is we'd group by and we would group by a specific field. So we'd group by ID. Now, what this would do is it would provide us the two fields because we're grouping by the unique identifier, um, but the count now shows one. So that looks a little bit strange. So what we can actually do here is instead of saying count ID, we want to go ahead and create an in, in sort of an inline or, or um, inside query. So I'm going to go ahead and say select count, and this is all within brackets, select count ID from articles as count. And I'll just put this capitals just so it makes sense. Okay, so we're selecting all fields from articles, but we're also doing an inner query and we're selecting the count from articles as count. And we're grouping still by ID. So what this has now done is it's given us the two results that we need and it's given us the count on the end of here, uh, which is two, obviously because we have two records.